Okay, in this video I'm going to try and show you how to extend the Xbox Kinect sensor uh, over Cat5 cable. I've not seen anybody do this online um, successfully. Um, so here we go. Uh, the reason we need to do this is we're installing the Xbox in an equipment rack and we're installing the sensor in the room where the game is going to be played. Uh, now you can see from the little screen there, that's me, that the Xbox Kinect sensor is working we have that just connected directly into the back of our Xbox. Obviously we need to extend that up to 25 meters in this case, but using this system you can go further, I believe. The first thing you'll need is one of these. This I bought off Amazon for about five pounds. It's the Xbox Kinect power supply unit. It's basically a 12 volt mains plug-in power supply it has the proprietary connector that the Xbox Kinect sensor uses and it converts the signal to USB. Now once it's converted to USB in theory it should be easy to extend it but as you'll see later it's not so easy. The Xbox Kinect uses its own proprietary connector. Now this connector is like USB but it isn't USB it's USB with an additional 12 volts on it. So what we need is we need to use our plug-in power supply that we bought from Amazon to give us the 12 volts and then once we've got the USB, the USB should give us the 5 volts and everything should work happily. So I shall connect this up and we'll see what happens. Okay, so now we have the Xbox Kinect sensor which is plugged into our 12 volt power supply that converts it to USB and it is connected into any USB port on the back of the 360. They all seem to work the same, no problems. And again, as you can see from the graphic there, it can see me, no problem. The next step is to extend the USB from the back of the 360 over 25 meters using Cat5 extensions. Now I've tried many different extension leads in this experiment and only a few of them work. If you're not going far, an off-the-shelf solution, US, it has to be USB 2, USB 2.0. Uh, some things, some of the ones, cheap Chinese ones, say they're USB 2, but they're not. So you need to get a decent USB 2 extension lead. This is a 5 metre one and it works fine. Some people have tried linking two of these together. I've tried it and it doesn't work. So if you don't need to go more than five meters, that's your cheapest option. Plan B, if you need to go further, you then need to go over category five cable. This is the only unit I've found that will do this. There are again some cheaper ones on the market that require drivers to run on a PC, but these, the Icron USB Ranger, is the only unit that will do this. But be aware, they're not cheap, unless you can get some second-hand ones, these cost me about £250. Basically you get a, a small little receiver unit that needs its own separate power supply. You get a transmitter unit which is basically USB to category 5. So let's connect this up and see what happens. Okay so let's have a look at our system now in total because it's getting a little bit confusing now. We've got the Xbox 360, we have our connect sensor we have a good 25 meters of Cat5 cable in between and as you can see from the graphic it works. How are we doing that? Quite simple. We're coming out of one of the USB ports on the back of the 360 into the Icron uh, USB Ranger extender. That then connects by a Category 5 cable round our bundle of Category 5 cable. At the other end we have the Icron USB Ranger receiver with its 5 volt power supply. That's important because the Kinect sensor needs the 5 volt supply and it also draws more current uh, than USB should be able to give but it seems to work. Uh, we then have the USB connection from our um, Kinect 12 volt power supply that then adds the 12 volts to the signal and then that feeds to the Xbox Kinect sensor. And if you followed all that it should work. Best of luck. 